We're live. Good afternoon, everyone. One second, Chair. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Sergeant, can you please start your recording? PC recording is up. Thank you. Cloud is up. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote of the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your videos. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Ayala, we are ready to begin. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Diana Ayala, and I am the chair of the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. I would like to welcome you to our vote today. Before we get started, I would like to acknowledge that we have been joined by council members. Uh, wait, wait, I'm sorry, let me just go by. Uh, Chen, Yeager, Lander, Menchaca, Barron, Brannon. Okay, if I miss anyone, I will come back around. Uh, today, we'll be voting on three important bills, two related to sidewalk cafes, and a third that seeks to address waste caused by plastic single-use uh, wear. The first bill we will vote on today is proposed introduction number 2096A, sponsored by Councilmember Kalos, which seeks to improve the sidewalk cafe licensing system. Under the current sidewalk cafe licensing process, applications are reviewed by multiple city agencies, the council, as well as community boards. Even when this process runs smoothly, it can take as long as four to five months to be finalized. With restaurants still struggling after having been closed for indoor dining for so long, and with the likelihood of having to endure another slow winter uh, and new COVID variants, proposed intro 2096A would speed up the sidewalk cafe licensing process. If enacted, proposed intro 2096A would allow DCWP to issue temporary operating licenses to applicants for a sidewalk cafe license if the plans for the new sidewalk cafe are identical to the plans for a previously operating sidewalk cafe at the same location. This bill would also allow the department to issue temporary operating license to new sidewalk cafe applicants whose petitions have been approved but are pending registration by the controller. The second bill we'll be voting on today also seeks to address the lengthy sidewalk cafe application process. Under the current scheme, sidewalk cafe applicants must include a plan of their proposed layouts that's prepared by a licensed architect or engineer. DCWP agrees that this requirement is burdensome and expensive for applicants and has also testified that it is unduly challenging for agency staff who review the plans without any background in engineering or architecture. In 2134, sponsored Intro 2134, sponsored by Council Member Salamanca, would address this issue by allowing sidewalk cafe applicants to self prepare such plans. The final bill we'll be voting on today is pro uh, proposed intro 1775C, sponsored by Council Member Van Bramer. This bill will finally address the mountains of waste created by unnecessary single use uh, eating utensils and foodware, uh, sauce packages, and napkins. Globally, more than 320 million tons of plastic are consumed each year, and more plastic has been produced in the last decade than ever before. While, plastic, while plastics last for centuries, they are often only used once before being discarded. 95% of plastic packaging, for, instance, for example, is only used once, and only 14% is collected for recycling. As a result, millions of tons of plastic leak into our oceans each year, endangering fish and aquatic birds. The World Economic Forum predicts that under a business as usual scenario, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish by 2050. In the United States, over 100 million plastic utensils are used daily, and some analysts estimate the US wastes 40 billion plastic utensils per year. The Ocean Conservancy lists cutlery as among the most deadly items in the, uh, to sea turtles, birds, and mammals. The time to address the climate crisis is now. If we want to leave a habitable planet for the children of this city, we must take immediate action to create a more green and sustainable society. For consumers, a major way to reduce our waste and be more environmentally conscious is to reduce our reliance on plastics. Proposed intro 1775C would decrease the amount of plastic waste used in our city. Consumers at food service establishments will have to ask for plastic utensils, sauce packages, napkins, or extra bowls and cups instead of automatically receiving them from the restaurant for takeout and delivery orders. This bill is common sense win-win scenario. It will lead to a reduction in utensil purchasing and waste for businesses. Less plastics will be used by consumers. And as a result, our city will be greener. 
I therefore encourage my fellow uh, council members to vote yes on this bill and the two sidewalk cafe licensing bills. Before I ask the clerk to call the roll, um, I would like to turn it over. If I'm not sure if there are any of the sponsoring uh, members who would like to uh, make remarks. I don't see any. Okay, then let's call the roll. Thank you and good afternoon. This is the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. Roll call vote on proposed intro 1775C, intro 2134, and proposed intro 2096A, Chair Ayala. I vote aye. Council Member Chin. I vote aye. Council Member Ku. I vote aye. Thank you. Council Member Lander. Council Member Lander. Sorry, I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you as well. Council Member Menchaca. I vote aye. Council Member Brannon. I vote aye. Thank you. Council Member Yeager. Madam Chair, may I be excused to explain my vote? You may. Thank you. I'm sure you're surprised by that request. Um, <laughs> First, I, I just wanted to say uh, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve on this committee with you. Uh, I, I came to be a member of this committee uh, later in the term, uh, in my term in the council. And honestly, I was asked to do so as a seat filler at a time when we were down a couple of members uh, and there were some elections that had been canceled and we just needed bodies on different committees. And I agreed to do it as uh, really as a, just a favor for the council. Uh, and the chair at that time was Chair Cohen, um, my friend and our friend uh, who's left on to greener pastures, uh, or so he thinks. Um, uh, but uh, once you became chair, I, I told the council that I would be happy to stay. You're, you're an incredible leader, uh, a good friend, and you're somebody who was always open to hearing opposing views, even if it's not one that you agree with, but you've given the floor to members who didn't agree with you. Uh, which is where we stand today, because I am not voting aye on all, as I'm sure you're shocked. Um, I am voting aye on intro 2134, in which I'm a co-sponsor, um, to make it easier to apply uh, for the revocable consents for sidewalk cafes. As a member of community board for 18 years before I came to this council, we heard many of these applications. And I think that the place for an application for a revocable consent is that it ought to be applied for and it ought to be heard and it ought to be decided upon. And for that same reason, I'm voting no on intro 2096 um, because I believe that if the ownership of, of an institute of an establishment changes, uh, it ought to go back to the application process. I don't see how the world ends uh, if somebody wants to have a sidewalk cafe and they're a new establishment just because there was a cafe there uh, prior thereto under a different uh, entity uh, shouldn't necessarily exclude the new owner from having to go through that process and make the case for why one is necessary needed or whether or not they're a, a good proprietor uh, and responsible enough to be entrusted with our valuable space on the streets. Um, I am voting no on intro 1775 because while I agree that uh, with everything you said, Chair, and that, you know, there are two uh, there, there is too much plastic and uh, we ought to do better with the environment and we ought to do better about uh, paying attention to, to how much waste we're creating in the world. But at the same time, I've been very consistent for uh, 47 and a half months in this council, uh, voting for bills that impose fines and penalties on, on the smallest businesses in this city. It's just not something I'm comfortable with. Uh, I would have been comfortable with if this bill, as I said, when we heard it a number of weeks ago, if this bill had a provision that the first violation when the summons warriors uh, go storming into businesses around the city to throw around their summonses, the first time that they walk into a restaurant that has, uh, in their estimable view, violated this provision of law, they issue a warning. Now, the statute does have um, a provision that no violation can be issued before July 20, July 1st of 2023. But at the same time, this is a this is still a new requirement. So it should always be for a new requirement, the new statute. Uh, the law should be, and and I've been consistent about this: no penalty for the first time, no penalty for the first time, because otherwise 
the agencies are encouraged to run around and build the city's budget on the backs of the small businesses in the city. And so for that reason and that reason alone, um, uh, no matter what the fine folks in the environmentalist lobby have said about this bill, uh, because I do agree with them on this, but I can't impose these fines on small businesses. So I vote no on intro 1775. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you, Council Member. Thank you, Council, Council Member Kalos. Council Member Kalos. I have to bring the car to a full and complete stop. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Council Member Kozlowitz. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Chair Ayala, by a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions, intro 2134 was adopted. Uh, by a vote of eight in the affirmative, one negative, and zero abstentions, intros 1775C and 2096A were also adopted. Uh, and Chair Ayala, I believe Council Member Van Bramer wishes to speak. Council Member Van Bramer. Uh, I just want to say thank you, uh, Chair Ayala, and to all the members of the committee and praise the activists uh, and my team who helped make this possible. I'll say more tomorrow, but thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, um, unless anyone has anything else to add, this vote is closed. <laughs>